Hey guys, in this new video, we're going to continue with our discussion on calculating more equilibrium concentrations. So if we take a look at this first one, it says, if Kc is 32.7 at 300 degrees Celsius for the following reaction, the reaction is two, one mole of H2 gas plus one mole of Br2 gas gives us two moles of HBr gas, what is the concentration of H2 at equilibrium if a 20 liter flask contains five moles of HBr initially. Now, what we should say to ourselves is, do I have to do a nice chart or not? What we should realize here is, all I'm giving you is initially only this amount of product. So we don't have anyone at equilibrium, and therefore we have to do a nice chart. Remember, if you're missing more than one compound at equilibrium, you must do a nice chart. But something's weird about this particular question. We're used to seeing initial amounts for our reactants, and we're used to seeing zero amounts for our products. This one's actually written backwards. So what we're gonna do here is we're actually going to flip this reaction so that it makes more sense. We should initially have some reactant, and then our products are normally at zero initially. And it's going to be ice chart because, again, we only have the initial amount of now our reactant, HBr. And remember, we're doing this because, again, we're used to seeing initial amounts for our reactants, not our products. And realize, if we reverse the reaction, then this is going to change what our K value is. Just remember here, reversing the reaction will give us the reciprocal of K. So now Kc becomes 1 over 32.7. And that answer is going to be 3.06 times 10 to the negative 2. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to say initially, how much reactant do we have? We have 5 moles, and we're going to divide it by 20 liters. And remember, we're doing this because the units we can use in a nice chart are molarity or atmospheres. Since we have moles and liters in this question, that's going to help us find molarity. So that's going to be 0.25 molar. So that's our initial amount. I don't tell you anything initially about our reactants, so there's zero. Remember, we're losing reactants to make product. Plus x, plus x. This is going to be 0.25 minus 2x, plus x, plus x. Now what we're going to do is we're going to solve for our x variable. So now we're going to say that Kc equals products over reactant, so it equals H2 times Br2 over HBr squared. And it's squared because remember the 2 here. Now we're just going to plug in the numbers we know. We know what Kc is. It's 3.06 times 10 to the negative 2. That's going to equal, at equilibrium, H2 and Br2 are both x. So x times x is going to give me x squared. Divided by 0.25 minus 2x squared. Now, remember, we have to isolate our x variable. But the problem is, sometimes we'll have to use the quadratic. There are two times when we can ignore the, um, we can get around this limitation. Okay, So there's two times where we'll be able to manipulate the equations so that we can avoid the quadratic formula. This happens to be one of those times. Remember, we've talked about this before. We have the perfect square method here. Remember, the perfect square method means we have the top is squared and the bottom is squared. And since both top and bottom are squared, I can take the square root to avoid the quadratic. So square root this, square root this. That's going to mean my answer now is 0.175 equals. Taking the square root of those squares just gets rid of the squares. So it's going to be x over 0.25 minus x, minus 2x. Multiply both sides by 0.25 minus 2x, 0.25 minus 2x. Now you're going to distribute. 
distribute. Since we're going to need some more room to work this out, guys, I'm going to remove myself from the image so we have more room to work with. So now we're going to have 0 0.04375. And remember, how do we get that? The 0.175 multiplied times the 0.25 when we distribute it. Minus 0.350x equals, it's still equal to x. Group the x variables together. This x is actually 1x, and we're going to add 0.350x to it. So we're going to say 0 0.04375 equals 1.350x. Divide by 1.350 on both sides. So we're going to say here that our x equals 0 0.0324 molar. Now remember, we shouldn't just circle this, so we're gonna take away that circle. We shouldn't say that this is our answer. We have to look and see, what did they ask me to find at equilibrium? They're asking me to find H2 at equilibrium. If we go to the equilibrium line, we see that indeed H2 equals X. So this answer we just found is acceptable. But remember, if I had asked for the equilibrium amount of HBr at equilibrium, we would take this X and plug it in here and then find the, cor the correct answer for HBr. So always be careful. Just because you find x, that doesn't mean that's your answer. Check to see what you're asked to find, and then check to see what its equation is on the equilibrium line. That's the best approach you want to take. Now that you guys have seen that one, I want to see if you guys can try to tackle this particular question. We're going to say at a given temperature, the gas phase reaction H2 gas plus O2 gas gives us 2, and actually we're going to change this H2 to nitrogen 2, N2, plus O2 gas gives me 2NO gas. Has an equilibrium constant of 4.00 times 10 to the negative 15. What will be the concentration of NO at equilibrium if 2 moles of nitrogen and 6 moles of oxygen are allowed to come to equilibrium in a 2 liter flask? So what we need to realize here is, do we need to do an ice chart or not? Once you guys figure that out, I want you guys to at least attempt to do this. Don't worry if you don't know where to go with it. Just click on the explanation button and I'll appear and I'll be able to answer it. Look at the strategies that I use in order to solve this particular one. Good luck guys, attempt it on your own first. If you get stuck, go and click on the explanation button.